Yo, what's up guys, today we're playing Through Our Chaos. We got a race that I don't usually get, and it's on deaths. I love, love on deaths. Richard playing on throws, goes for the peak bad voodoo. Uh, the other one plays on the torrents, and we have Naive playing on... What we're gonna see soon, yeah. Sorok. Um, honestly, I don't like what is happening too much, because all three races are much stronger than me, I would say. Hmm, I got a big foundation. I have 40 seconds more. Okay, so, I think it's pretty much either, uh, Abomination, uh, Ice Armor, yeah, Ice, ice Armor, Abomination, or obsidian statue. Like these three are the only valuable things that you can go for. Yes, and that. But yeah, let's play the meta. The players are actually really good, so I'm gonna play seriously. I'm pretty sure abominations are like a a tier. So like very good. Items. Beam tried to reforge many times but couldn't win so he he didn't upload. Kek. Really good. Overall zoom. <sighs> yeah, there is a reason why you were banned from this channel, okay? I did enjoy my vacation without you, right? Can 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 you make it also a pleasant time, even when you are back now, please? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't get my YouTube videos with you. Yeah, try harding. That's what some people do, but the second thing you also try hard against me, specifically. What is wrong with you, man? Fuck, I didn't get a barrack in time. It's an 8. Yes, what did you say? You're going for matters and that and thinking we, why we aim you purple off. Yeah, but you don't know that I went for the matter. Let's use stream snipe. Okay, so Sorok has uh, Prowlers. I've never seen this unit, but yeah, it's a tier 1 unit replacement, so it's bad by default. I think it's pretty bad by default. Uh, Richardic went for the Big Bad Budo. And the question, the only question is like, uh, what did Diadon go for? It's not Spirit Walkers, because he has uh, Spirit Mediums, as we see. Um, yeah, I wonder. Also, it doesn't look like an orb of the earth. Doesn't look like a source of magic. I think it's Kodos. Yeah, it must be Kodos then. To match my abominations. Torrent, yeah, Torrents, I feel like whatever Torrents speak, it can be... It can be good, actually. It can be very good. He has Kodos, he has... Uh, source of magic. Orb of Earth. Like yeah, that's is that's pretty OP. That is really really OP. So tip <laughs> to <laughs> 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 XX Frankenstein, thank you for following, much appreciate it. Man, this barrack is in pain. Of course, extra attack rate on units when my base is on, on fire. Of course, dude. Uh, to be honest, maybe Undead is one of the races that is not allowed to be upgraded in the middle because I have so many debuffs, attack rate, hit points, like, man. My race really sucks in early game. But on the other hand, like, yeah. Otherwise, his middle would push mine, so... Maybe, maybe it's for the best. Maybe it's for the best. I also don't like the neutral buildings on top. It's the marketplace in the war mill. And the bottom though, they're a bit better, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going go to go for the bottom. I think it's too greedy. 
The big bad voodoo now is reduced attack rate. Man, why? <laughs> why it didn't proc when I was under the siege? Why it proc only now? I didn't get the necromancy upgrade, but I don't have cash for it. I'm so poor. I'm so poor, man. Yeah, I feel like uh, the biggest mistake that undead players make, they go early for masonry. So not only that you have so many debuffs from your race, right? Like minus attack rate, minus HP. You even don't upgrade your units. So like, I feel like I would get killed by like one of these, either red or blue, would literally destroy my barracks, most likely. Or I would have to buy a lot of units. I feel like it's Dwarf and Undead, the late game races, on, on which you have to go for a lot of upgrades early, otherwise you're just gonna drop that immediately, because your units suck, like let's be honest, they really fucking suck. Also the upgrades have uh, less cost, so that's good. But yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a little bit stronger when I'm gonna have my caster upgrades. Like, caster upgrades are literally carrying everything. Uh, Richardic is not upgrading his right barrack, I know why. So he's tier 1, he has one upgrade on damage, one on defense, and also a caster upgrade, I think. Like, I saw a healing wave. Yep. Is he going tier 3 mid? I feel like he might be going tier 3 mid, actually. With what I see. Uh, Naive on the Soul Rock has uh, two one upgrades, yeah, he's very strong. I'm kind of scared of his. I feel like he's gonna be pushing my lane all the time. Even if he doesn't upgrade the barrack, it's gonna be this way. Just too strong. Question is like, should I, should I contest for the middle? Because it's... Um, it's very risky. Oh, do I get regeneration on buildings? Nice! My better gonna regenerate back all its HP. Very, very nice. This neutral building is good, this one sucks. Three one upgrades, one one upgrade. I don't see what Diodon has. Okay, two free meat, yeah? My prediction was right. So it's a Tier 3 middle rush. Uh, this is go that's very good because if Theodon has Kodos and he's rushing tier 4, uh, Richardix tier 3 gonna slow him down a lot, so I have time to like stabilize a little bit. Minus damage on buildings now. We all would have done the same, my connection is too bad to snipe. Not being able to snipe when you want to do it. Sorrow Chaos is the only custom map I play, so entertain me. Okay. Yeah, I know, I really wanna tag, but I feel like the right play right now is to go for more armor upgrade. Like I said, I'm I feel like Undead is so fragile. Like man, this race is so fragile. Like, I, I I I gotta play it very safe. Very, very safe and very very carefully. So here is my most safe play. I'm gonna push all my upgrades. And always have player gold to upgrade the barrack on some side. I think I can take this damage, like it's okay. I don't wanna over spawn units. Yeah, I, I don't see... Uh, well, plus 20 armor on each unit. I don't see the other one. The Torrent player, tier 3 on mid, greedy low, lucky aura. Yeah, the aura is very good for you. It's uh, just ridiculous, ridiculously good for you, man. Okay. 
Is there a replacement for undead bad? Uh, those frost beams? Yeah, I think it's bad. I'm pretty sure it's bad. I, I looked it up right now when I was deciding whether to go for it or not. And it's bad, in my opinion. Because it has like one spell that was useful. I think it was either AoE or like a passive, like a frost breath. But the other one is uh, Devour Magic. And Devour Magic with 175 AoE. 175 AoE is this. Like it's nothing. This is literally nothing. If you are a magic of that size, I would go for it, but it's like literally this size. So, it's smaller, I think it's like that. 2 free units, maximum like 5 6 if they're very grouped up, you know? So, uh, yeah. We are holding that war mill for a while. I do like that a lot. Let's get a Banshee on each barrack. There we go. Now, the corruption aura is also very strong. It's one of the cheapest and the best upgrades you can get, I feel like. But yeah, and that is pretty much all about uh, caster upgrade. My banshees also benefit from the caster upgrades. So I, I feel like I'm gonna wait with the armor reduction and go for that first. Like this upgrade is literally the hyper carry of undeads. I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah, so the plan is pretty simple. Uh, we're gonna get Corruption Aura to max. We're gonna get one level in Crippling Cold, so at least my units have it. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm curious if this slow is only a movement speed or it's also attack speed. Because if it's also attack speed, then this is OP. But if it's only movement speed, then yeah, it's not that good. Oh yeah, also I gotta get one upgrade in the web against flying units, if they happen to be. I quite damaged his barrack, damn dude, to half HP. But he got, yeah, he got the building's damage increased. Lucky motherfucker. Let's get the web first, then the corruption. Then we push 3 upgrades on damage, and then we go 2 more upgrades on masonry. That's basically like, I play every race exactly at the same time. Like, this is exactly how I play every time, every race. I know why. But yeah, it has like a very good win rate, if I'm not getting sniped by the whole lobby, I guess. Which might happen this time, I don't know. I am, me and Naive still have the agreement, the gentleman agreement of a tier 1 barracks. I'm satisfied with that. On the middle it's a tier 3 barrack from Richard. He has 2k gold from the middle. I have more gold than Diadon, Kek. I have more gold from the middle than Diadon. Wow, that's funny. Um, and yeah. What is the total gold? I have the least I have the least gold. It makes sense because I'm playing very safe. And Richard has like uh, 1.2.5. 1.25 more than me. I don't know. So one low in life still is not bad, maybe. Like later probably. Tier 3 barrack by Naive on the middle. Okay. Uh, do I rush Corruption Aura level 2 already? Probably, yeah. There is no reason why not to, right? It's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Surprisingly, no one is sending heroes to the middle. But probably, if someone is considering, it has got to be Richard, because he did upgrade his tier 3 barrack on middle ages ago, so he is saving up for something else. It must be 
the tier 4 middle or a hero or something like that probably because so much time has passed like there is no way he, he he's gonna just uh, be it like that minus 20 armor on each unit man big bad voodoo is merciless literally merciless look my my unit's gonna collapse in a second and even though i have more armor than him the armor reduction is like close to be the same so i mean uh, extra damage taken yeah it's gonna be a strong push how many units do i need then oh it's also minus 20 on buildings huh i'm scared oh yeah that's I'm gonna hire all my melee units. Cause you, I'm, I'm literally scared, like, fuck that. Yeah. Too excessive. His units also are fragile, so. Okay, watching if Nave gonna upgrade his barrack to tier 2 or not. But so far it doesn't seem to be the case. Pa, 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 pa. And yeah, I'm, I'm starting to feel okay. So four mercenary upgrades. We we kind of stabilized. We are pretty good in the game. I might get also the crippling cold now. Yeah, I should get it now. The earlier, the better. Evasion can wait. Life still can wait. Attack rate on the goose. I actually don't know. They removed the penalty for extra damage taken. It's just an attack rate. But for short duration, what is the short duration? Well, and that was very strong even before the goose new things, right? So maybe I'm not sure if it's uh, if that's what something that I should go for. So uh, what do we have? Increased regeneration. All right. I'm gonna wait with corruption over low three. It's too expensive for now. More armor upgrades, probably yeah. But I'm gonna I'm gonna save up cash and see what, what should I go for. Might be tier three middle, so I get a bit of cash. Maybe naive gonna upgrade against me, so we'll have to match it immediately. Nah, I think I'm I'm pretty comfortable. The plague uh, beater is good as well. Yeah, there are many good upgrades on Undead. Low 3 uh, Permafrost gives you Frost now as well. It's pretty good. Surprise, you are not rushing the R bombs. I can get punished. If I would go tier 4 middle R bombs, tier 4, tier 4, and I'm dead instantly. So. A, I'm a streamer. B, I'm undead. It is very fragile. Yeah, I, I know albums are good, but like, till the point you get albums, you have to walk a long way, like a very long way, with the upgrades, with like taking, etc., etc. So yeah, I, I know albums are disgusting. Okay, two mercenary upgrades for Richard. Six upgrades on melee. Zero upgrades on ranged. Four upgrades on armor. Two upgrades on casters. Yo, Diggs. Diggs V, thank you for much appreciate. So, tier 1, three mercenary upgrades. Three to upgrades on units. Not many upgrades on units for naive. Did you get a caster upgrade now? Yeah, you did, okay. Plus 20 armor. Yeah, that Banshee has a lot of armor. Oh, a hero in the middle. Okay. Yeah, that's the first hero in the middle, right? By blue. I wonder why, though. It kind of ruins the balance. I feel like you're over pushing now. Because there was a tier 3 barrack, tier 2, tier 2, tier 3. Then I upgrade my tier 3. Like, I don't know, dude. I feel like it's kind of over pushing a little bit. Wait, another hero. 
why do you send a, sec a second hero now? I'm very scared of Richard, I know why. I know why I'm so scared of him, but I feel like the guy is preparing something big. Because I don't see why he's using his gold. He has Roar 2. Uh, probably Battle Trans low 1. Like, I literally don't know, dude. My looks looking very scary. Yeah, this guy is just broken as fuck. 2.4k HP, and when it dies, it deals 500 damage in 330 LE. So like, like here, like even even like this, I feel like maybe. Um, yeah, that's a, a bit broken. Just a little bit. Okay, corruption aura. Armor or save gold. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna get gold right now fast, so maybe I can play a bit greedy. But at least I'm getting stream sniped. I don't know, dude. Let's get just one upgrade on armor. And if something happens, I can always cancel it, so. Sylvanas is also one of the best heroes because she creates even more abominations with her black arrows. I like she summons one. I feel like she summons one. It's not simply a black arrow. Okay, total gold. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, Richard is 3000 ahead of me. That is looking so bad. That is looking so effing bad, dude. I'm really scared. Gonna use it. I kind of I was slow with that. Man, I wasted so much mana. Yeah, I think he has uh, a lot of upgrades. Six six, yeah. I don't know, dude. Wasted too much mana, but uh, it's fine. Did he get your free? No. Alright. Yeah, we have a bit more gold now. Once we killed blues heroes and we are dominating middle. We have Silvanas and Abominations. Increase attack rate. Still tier two. Still tier one. <laughs> I like how I have tier four barrack in, in the middle. And uh, tier 2 and tier 1 barracks on the sides. Research. That's a keg. 5 upgrades on armor. Nah, one goo was enough. Even like, even without goos would be enough. I bought 17 units. That's probably mostly goos. So let's say 14 goos. That is... 490. And then a few riders or something for us. Like like three of them, maybe. So that's uh, 700 gold. I, I wasted 700 gold on units, but. Okay, yeah. Now I'm gonna get seven upgrades on base defense and just prepare for. Uh, for late game, I guess. Now very cheap. I'm gonna save up for tech. I was gonna have gold for the barracks. Is there generation? No, fuck. Research complete. <laughs> Yo. Tier 4 throw is not mid. Yeah, I feel like I'm the only one tier 4 on the middle. I feel like I'm the only one tier 4 on the middle actually. Voodoo and Coda Beast. Oh yeah, they have tier 4 on each other. That's very nice. 
Dude, look at this middle, Jesus Christ. I'm rolling it. I'm literally rolling this middle. Damn, bro. That was bad, Silvana slipped through the middle. Still too bad like by Diodon as well. He will re aggro my Silvanas to attack his uh, towers though. So he gonna be fine. Uh, I just lost Silvanas then. But yeah, I, I mean, I made Silvanas just for the purpose of uh, kicking out blue. So. I think it's not that bad. Oops. Yeah, the nations are kind of disgusting, not gonna lie. Why it doesn't re aggro? It's a bit more stubborn, yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh no. Oh no. Gotta match it. Oh man, uh, oof. Bad times, bad times for Thorin. I feel like he was already fed up by Troll tier 4. They had tier 4 on each other for quite a while. And then I go tier 4 mid, just to farm it, but I slip through eventually. Uh, yeah, oh well. Yeah, these things, like, they completely cancel the wave. You know what I mean? Like, the wave spawns. First of all, it tanks all the damage. And then it explodes and deletes the wave. Above that, even. Um, yeah, like, you see, missing HP? Like, at first, when I hovered over it. I think it was solely from uh, Abomination Explosion. Look. My Silvanas is still alive. Kek. Regeneration? Armor. Fuck. Dude! Chant my... Gargoyle. That's not fair. So tier three for now. Uh, do I need a hero on top? That's a question. Can he charm my abomination? By the way, pretty sure he can charm anything. Pretty sure he can charm anything, so... Nah, I should be fine. I'm, I'm not gonna overreact. This green never gonna push me, I believe. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. I get here for barrack. Um... Six seconds, right? This this is one of the weakest uh, defensive spells. So I had to use both, to be honest. I feel like so, yeah. Uh, yeah, we are reaching the point where we might kill enemies' heroes, so we might rip uh, the mana from them back to our main base. But should I go for it yet? That's a question. I can send another hero on middle to farm uh, these two, by the way. I'm not sure. <laughs> Me and Naive still have tier 1 barracks on each other <laughs> this whole time. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna play safe. I'm gonna go for mercenary. Fuck it. 
actually gonna go for masonry. I feel like I'm actually in a very safe pocket position. Where Theodon is dying, it's a barricade between Richard and Naive, so they're gonna be fighting each other. And I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm comfy. I'm, com I'm comfy where I am. Can I endure this damage? I guess, yeah, why not? Yeah, like that, dying. Yara, yara. Our town is under attack. <sighs> I'm really thinking about this Kel'Thuzad. Yeah, let's get him. I mean, I don't see any reasons why not. He gonna harvest experience from Devil Hero level 6. I had to research Soul Reap. I would get 20 mana from killing these two. Like, my mana for the mid game and late game is not actually that bad, but. I don't know, dude. Minus one. Minus. You're gonna regenerate, right? No. Minus two. Okay. Uh, Frost Armor is amazing. Let's get Frost Armor and let's get uh, maybe Soul Reap, I don't know. Okay, you're gonna send me a super unit. He used a, okay, he used a ult, uh, base defense. He's getting attacked by someone. I wonder who though, because... Wait, who is he getting attacked by? Because the other one is crippled. Oh, the super unit? Did the super unit reach his base finally? Oh my god. His main is actually, yeah, it's, it must be the iron task hitting his main on the other side. Kek, I overpush with Kel'Thuzad, but he got experience, so... Ah, bombs are disgusting. What else is good? Soul Reap. Soul Reap is good. Uh, let's get Soul Reap, fuck it. Our task is back. My poor girl is out. Alright. Oh yeah, yeah, upgrades, upgrades, continue making them. Dude, throws are OP, what the fuck? Throws are actually OP. I agree. Knife is taking only now? Wait, he cancelled the attack! Wait, why did you cancel the attack? Do you know how much gold you lost? Were you under attack by someone? Because I'm pretty sure your right barrack is fine. If you just need like more units. That's it, but... Wait, why did you... Do you have money to make units? Oh shit, okay. <laughs> Kek. Yeah, shit happens, I guess. Lifesteal and Goose Frenzy. My Silvanas is still alive this whole time. Where is she? Yeah, 1.5k HP. She's uh, really stubborn. Research web already? Yeah, one point. I mean, like, do you research it more than one point? Uh, you did make an upgrade, right, on your barrack. I gotta match it now. <laughs> it's a double hero on top, so we are saving up for a super unit, ideally. But if not, then just, I don't know, some other heroes. Uh, okay, so blue... Is blue tier 4 on the middle? Red is still tier 3. I wonder what's like uh, the power stand points right now for the players. Alright, total gold. Richardi has 
more gold than me by 4,000. That's disgusting. Probably because he pillaged the other one space more than me. Ah, oh, fuck, man. It's not looking good. Uh, oh, I did get permafrost level too. Nice. That's very important. I feel like the frost armor uh, kind of helps a lot, so... Okay, let's defend here, Leslie. I really want super unit, so I need to save up cash. Come on, reagro, you bitches. Wait, why are they not reagroing? There you go. I almost lost a tower, Kek. I'm rusty as hell. Wait, at least we got the super wind out now. The iron task is uh, holding us on the middle. I know, I know, it's, it was so weird. Like, my barrack and the right tower we were attacking units. My left tower was attacking hero, but they re aggroed very late. I know why. It was very late that they re aggroed like that. You know what I mean? Okay. Um. Let's get, yeah. I gotta I got attack up more. And that has so much tech. It's just literally insane. Should I get more? Maybe like one life steal upgrade. A bomb doesn't benefit from anything like that anyway, so. Uh, just probably normal upgrades. Just probably normal upgrades. Which has no mana. I had to check mana before I would go defensively. Defensive mode, but. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like, anyone could have shot my barracks, so I panicked a little bit. Let's get damage. No towers on left side. Tier 3, tier 4, tier 2. Tier 4, tier 4, tier 4. <laughs> tier 2. Maybe so rip level 2. No. Okay, let's get these and let's get that. When Iron Task will be completely dying, I'm gonna send a hero to get XP. But he's level 19 and he has 17k HP, so. I don't know about that, man. Alright, use the very last bit of mana you have. Now it's a zero mana, but yeah, source of mana though. Where is it? Is there a possibility? I will, oh my god, he re-aggroed my, yeah, he re-aggroed my Galio. This is actually bad. Should I send a hero? Nah, it's too risky. The risk for me to lose all my heroes and be without gold. You know, nah, fuck that. I just hope that my Galio will be fine, all by his own. Send me a hero? Was my push that strong? I don't mind. If it's just hero, I'm not gonna even upgrade my barrack to tier 3. I can defend without it. Uh, evasion... Yeah, now it's getting harder... ...with the upgrades. I might just save up for another Galio. If you don't have Galio, enough gold for the, another Galio at this stage of the game, you kind of lose. Which upgrade is it? 8. So I'm gonna go for 9. Yeah, I think it's I think it's okay. Gold management. The Galio is fighting like a beast. Galio is pretty okay, in my opinion. Also has a marketplace buff, but it's 
just a minor one. Arin Task is still not dying. Uh, okay, it's a still tier 2 barrack there. I gotta keep an eye on that. I was seeing my control abo. Yeah, that's kind of disgusting. Can you not? <laughs> Mind control my abominations. Uh, Blue is pushing him from the left side. Uh, Spike was left with 12 HP, level 10. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alright. I have what to go for, maybe I can afford it. I feel like I gotta save gold now already. Yeah, we are saving gold. I already played very greasy. My units are 9 9 upgrades, uh, full orb of corruption aura, full permafrost, so my bunches can cast no and 6 armor, frost armor. Just don't have evasion, and they don't have immolation. Like, these two things are the only combat uh, wise. Upgrades. Is it still tier 2, right? Then I can do this. Yeah, this, this units to re aggro easier. I know why. Like, look. Problem is that there is a push from the top. Monka ass. <laughs> Yo. Uh. Has it now, maybe? I gotta kill the, the bottom way faster, so. Reagro on this tower. Yo, go, 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 go out of tower. Go left tower. Go left tower. Turn back. Yes. Okay, maybe I try to finish Richardic right now, what do you guys think? Let's go triple hero push. I'm gonna leave uh, fourth hero just in case. Maybe quadruple hero push actually. Quadruple hero push. Nah, it's so risky man, like yeah. Naive, naive can punish me easier for that, so fuck that. Not gonna do it. Uh, yeah, I gotta do some cheap upgrades that preserve my gold, in case I would need to upgrade the barrack. So we're gonna go with the uh, base damage. I think it's good. I think it's pretty good. Uh, the triple hero push alone will be uh, pretty deadly, because like, these are free range heroes. Artist is kind of questionable, because the guy has like, not very useful aura, which is lifesteal. Like, yeah. This, this is already good now. Like, three range heroes focus fire. Different barrack, okay, match it. Yeah, I got, uh, I got to preserve gold. See if you're gonna do tier 4. Wow, that barrack is on fire, man. Yeah, actually, you have no towers to re aggro, right? Yo, you have no towers to re aggro. The hero push. Oh, man. Oh man. Okay. Increased regeneration. So my tower is regenerating now. Nice. So is my barrack. Let's go. Triple hero push abomination foundations. 9 9 upgrades. With a bunch of passives. Let's go. It was no damage. It's not that much, it's only 125, right? Yeah. Okay. What did you do? Tier 4? No? Okay. Uh, no super unit yet, I guess don't have gold because on the left side had to make way more, way too many units. So you might die. I feel like, okay, his left barrack is gone. His left barrack is gone. 
100%. It is gone. Well, what about you? Okay. Tanking with the main, rare growth on that. The barrack is gone. Send me a super unit, okay. Gauntlet that is dying. Loose hero is still alive. It's literally like on the edge. But still tanking. Losing mana. Oh my god, the big bad voodoo is actually working against us. My Galio has zero mana. Now has reduced armor. Are you fucking serious? Well, actually, it's bad for him. If my Galio will shoot the barrack. Come on, shoot the barrack once. Shoot the barrack once. Yeah, or a tower. Look how much damage it takes. Oh well. I have to worry about something else. Oh yeah, which hero is that? Sylvanas and Kelfas at both. Okay. Got it. This guy has 500 range. It's a tier 4 barrack as now if we speak. Should I wait for the Galia? Nah, it's not even dying anytime soon, dude. My base damage upgrades are 7. Okay. Hundred range, right? Let's tank with my main. I mean with the barrack. Just try to deal damage. Also gonna get my best units. Can't I re aggro him closer? Does this tower not reach him for real? It does, but it's too lazy to move. Is it better gun? Come on. Come on. Fucking regeneration! Exactly now, of all times? Locust Swarm costs zero mana, so imbalanced. Man, you're literally one barrack. I mean, you literally like no main to barracks. <laughs> Alright, I wanted to go for more base damage upgrades, but I feel like I'm fine. I'm gonna kill it. This is a problem. So I'm gonna prepare this for the top. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I played uh, very carefully and nicely. Like, especially part with Naive, I feel like he should have pushed me, because I'm very good late game. But he gave me time to lay eggs, and I, like, became so OP. I, I went even for more grit and, like, extra mercenary. I'm pretty sure, like, uh, from the fortress I got the most gold, see? Because I rushed my mercenary before anything else. Uh, I'm down to summon Arthas as well. To sacrifice to the spike. It's gonna be a hard defense, actually, yeah. It's gonna be very hard defense. Come on, spike. Aggro on right tower. Thank you. Can my main reach him? Nice. Okay, I'm gonna tank with my main. Uh, let's summon Arthas. Should I summon more units? Probably not. Let's get the uh, base damage upgrades. Kill this thing faster. Maybe now. Nah, 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 I should not. I should have not. I think I should not. Yeah, see, Arthas just gonna die to spike. Oh man. Yeah. Okay, so the frozen effect. Any kills only. Pretty sure, like, it doesn't reduce attack speed. Uh, defense of spell immediately. Hey, what is good? Uh, oh, fuck. Yo, don't, don't attack my towers. Yo, don't, don't attack my towers. And I think it's fucking spinning and... No, not my barrack! Not my barrack! What the fuck? Dude! Can you guys not ignore him? Hello? 
Man, he caused such a havoc in my fucking base. Alright. Let's get away, Jean. This gets so rip. Oh fuck, what else should I get? Now they're super unit, eh? Okay. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. That is not good. That is not good. Richard knows he is on the clock. His lab barrack is not producing any units. So he's gonna end him. He goes desperate mode against me. <sighs> can he survive for 90 seconds? In 90 seconds I can call reinforcements. Come on, Galio. Come on, Galio. It's a Galio low 18 against the Spike and Uruzin. They also attack coming from the bottom. Spike is getting damaged. A bit more. Thinking how to play it the best way. And what does this? And here we just get it with the artists. I have too much gold. I had I had to use gold a little bit more. Let's go with the ship might die. Actually, the ship is dying. Yeah. Maybe buying units was a mistake because he probably did the same. After hearing it on the stream. Oh man, I lost. There are ground towers, there are ground towers. I don't want to even look up. I feel like the moment I look up. I will see death and despair. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Shit, dude. This is not good. Uh, the spike AI might actually fuck me over. What was that sound? Come on, can you fucking aggro on my base? Piece of shit. I, I can't let them aggro on my barrack, no matter what. If that happens, I lose the barrack instantly. Maybe so rip low free. Okay. He has no super units. It's GG for him. He he summoned super unit twice. First from the middle barrack, now from the right barrack, so has no super units and it's a triple hero push with our bombs. We got him. I mean, I should have saved it, yeah, I don't know. Why did I rush it so much? Okay, this and... I have a lot of cash and I feel like I'm gonna get even more soon. Uh, fuck. Evasion? I think it's evasion. Let's go, let's go away some more. This is a place only to goose and uh, skeletons, the units that have like the peg of damage and the peg of attack speed. So like 20% is enough for them. I don't think they need more. 
web is already is being used like you can see even on the ground units used up all his mana to defend himself okay there's a big push from the middle coming all right yeah, actually a hard game well okay I had I had it a bit easier yeah, because now you didn't aggro on me too much but you know um, yeah this is like this is the must have this is probably the best I should have upgraded it much earlier this immolation on tier 1 and tier 2 melee units like it's I feel like it's a pure damage even maybe maybe not the big bad voodoo they're still playing with it like what do we have now? Reduce movement speed. Alright, it's a Sirvanas level 22. Health is at level 13. And a Galio where you... Oh, it's not Galio, it's Artist level 7. So wow. Oh yeah, I feel like Rich gonna... Oh my god, he got my Abomination to push with him! That's my Abom right there. <laughs> Okay, dude. Uh, how to win a stroll? Go for the voodoo when you're playing against undead. Charm his abominations and kill other people in game. Actually, 500 IQ. Um, guess increase web. I don't know what else to do. Man, that's a lot of units. What the fuck is this? It's lagging as fuck too. Oh, he summoned Spike. It's only now off the cooldown. Mad, yeah, man. Like, it's just, this is too much, I feel like. But all these albums will explode. <laughs> the whole map gonna go boom. The gallery is still full HP, it's level 25. And I'm full upgraded, almost. Bro, what I even spend my gold on right now? I was so preserved with my gold. Well, and that's with abomin and that with abomination. It's uh, wins again. Nothing new. I feel like we, me and my community spotted that it was like one of the most broken foundations long time ago. Proves to be as strong as it was. Uh, yeah, in the past though, it was nerfed. Like this, this used to be even more OP, I think. And now it's a bit nerfed. When you go abominations, you have another level in life still. I don't think it's that effective though. Like, why would you need a life still? Can you use armor on on your super unit, by the way? No. Yeah, that will be OP. Well, GP guys, hope you enjoyed this one.